السلام علیکم دس از غلام عباس فرام ایم ایچ لینگویج سولوشنس ٹوڈے وی آر گن ٹاک اباؤٹ آئلز ریڈنگ کوشچن ٹائپس ان آئلز ریڈنگ دیر آر الیون ڈفرینٹ ٹائپ آف کوشچنس آؤٹ آف دیز اونلی سیون ٹو ایٹ ٹائپ آف کوشچنس کین بی فاؤنڈ ان یور ایکچوئل ایگزام پیپر ان ریالٹی It is the choice of your examiner to give any questions that he want to give in the paper. He can skip the rest of the questions. Moreover, any certain type of question can be given more than once in your examination paper. Another thing to note here is that some questions in IELTS reading follow sequence. For example, if we talk about true, false, not given, yes, no, not given, summary, completion, these questions follow sequence. In these questions, it is easy to find out your answers because once we find out the answer of one question, we know that answer of the next question is going to be next. Whereas, there are other type of questions in IELTS reading where there is no sequence. For example, if we talk about matching headings or matching information, in these questions there is no sequence. Even if you find out the answer of a certain question, you are not sure where is the answer of next question. The answer of first question can be at the bottom of the paragraph. and you may find the answer of the last question at the beginning last thing that we are going to discuss right now before we start our video is that we are only going to talk about different question and answer types in IELTS reading we won't be discussing the tips or tricks to deal with these different kind of questions we'll only look into how do these questions look and uh, how may you solve these questions but we won't be talking about the tips and tricks to deal with these questions easily this will be done in upcoming videos because i'll be making separate video for each type of question so let's begin our today's lecture First of all, have a look at all these reading question types in front of you. There are 11 different types and we will talk about all of them one by one. Question type 1 is multiple choice or MCQ question. Here, you need to select any one option out of the given options. You can either select A, B, C or D, whatever you find suitable. Sometimes there are only three options given and you need to select the right option accordingly. Question type 2 is a true, false and not given question type. You will have certain statements there. And your job is to decide if the given statement is true, false or not given in the light of text. You need to read the text first. You need to read the question and then decide if the statement given in the question can be called true, false or not given in the light of textual information. The third question type is quite similar to question number two. Question number two was true, false, not given. This question is yes, no, not given. This question is actually about finding the opinion of the writer. Writer has given different opinions in the text. These opinions have been mentioned in the form of question here in front of you and your job is to decide if the same opinion has been given in the text or not. For example, 
there is an opinion in question number one you need to read the text and decide if the text gives the same opinion if it is same then you will say yes if it is opposite then you say no and if it cannot be found then you say not given this is how you deal with this type of question question type 4 is matching information we have different paragraphs in the text these paragraphs have different names like a b c d e f g h in the question we have certain statements like in this question we have six different statements now your job is to find which paragraph contains this information for example if the first statement a comparison of past and present transportation method is found in paragraph number d then paragraph d is the answer of this question and you will write it right in front of question number one this is how you are going to deal with this type of question then we have question type five matching headings in this question we have again two things we have list of headings and then we have number of paragraphs the given example has nine headings and six paragraphs for paragraph a we need to find which heading out of the given headings is correct only six headings are correct three headings are extra they are just to confuse you for example if you find heading number five roman five is correct then you will write it in front of paragraph a this is how you are going to deal with this type of question then we have question type six question type six is matching features here we have different names and we have different features your job is to decide which name is associated with the certain features we have mostly more names than features this is again just to confuse you for example here we have five different names but we only have four features so some researchers here are extra now moving on towards the next question matching sentence ending matching sentence ending question again consists of two things we have first part of the sentences and then we have the tail of those sentences we have heads of the sentences we have tails of those sentences you need to match the right head with its subsequent tail for example if the question number one the g n c t u has the d as its tail then you need to write d in front of question number one and obviously you need to decide that by reading the text you will go to the text you will read it and then you will decide which tail is the correct tail for the given question or for the given head question type 8 is a sentence completion question we have been given certain sentences they are missing something some of the words some of the parts of the sentence are missing you need to read the text and then you have to find the correct words you need to find the correct information to complete these sentences one thing to be careful is you always need to find the exact word from the text you cannot place your own words or you cannot change the textual words here okay coming to question number nine question number nine consists of different type of questions we may have a summary completion question a note completion question table completion question or flow chart completion question under the same question type nine first of all if we talk about the summary completion you will be given a summary it's kind of like filling the blanks and you need to find the correct word to complete the summary this question can come where we have certain options 
we have a list and we need to find words from the list and then fill in the summary sometimes a summary is given without list where we need to find out the words from the text and then we write the words within the summary to complete it similar question number 9 can have a flow chart a flow chart is actually you can say a kind of process which consists of different stages parts of these stages are missed you read the text you find those parts and you try to fill the process with the help of given information same type of question may have table completion in table completion we have a table certain parts of the table are missing you need to read the text and then you need to fill in the missing parts in the table question number 10 is a diagram labeling question as it is obvious that we will be given a diagram in the question some of the statements in that diagram are missing we need to read the text we need to find out the part of the text which is talking about that process or that diagram and then our job is to complete the missing parts in the diagram with the help of textual information this is again kind of fill in the blanks question last question is a short answer question type in this question we will be given certain questions and we we need to give their short answer in the light of the given text we always have to follow the instruction if we are given to write only one word or two word or three word as an answer then we cannot go beyond that you always need to follow the instruction i hope today's lecture was a help thank you very much for watching this video stay tuned for the next exciting video allah hafiz